Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. Last episode I believe we'd taken a look at a small side area to see what was going on in another foresty, forested kind of area place thing. And uh, I dealt with one or two things, vampire and ski and other stuff like that. Now the time's come, we need to move on. I believe we've already dealt with uh, yeah, all that stuff that we have. So yes, all right, all right. let us move on. Time to head to the Troll Claw Woods before we get to Boris Steer to the Boris Steer Bridge, since this one is no longer working. Seems like we've got a ways to go. But yes, first Troll Claw Woods. With the coastway crossing destroyed, the only safe route across the winding water is Boris Steer Bridge where your father, Baal, was murdered by the mad god, Siric. Each step toward the distant landmark fills you with unease. You are not alone in that. The flaming fists also fear what may lie ahead. If Kalar has destroyed Boriskir Bridge, the expedition will not reach Dragonspear Castle in time to stop the crusade. The forces of Baldur's Gate and its allies will be outmatched, slaughtered. These fears grip your allies, but also drive them forward. The anxious whispers fall silent when the march is called to a halt less than a day's travel from Borskir. The flaming fist sets up camp and prepares for the next meeting with the Crusade, while you plan your next move. I am sorry for your loss. But rest assured that your husband's sacrifice will never be forgotten. Signed, yours ever in faith, Kalar Argent. I am sure the family will find your words most comforting, my lady. More letters of condolence, my lady? Surely there are other more urgent matters that require your attention? I am not of a mind to argue this again, Heffernan. Their deaths lay heavy on us all, my lady. But they sacrifice themselves for a greater good. Letting their passing distract us will do them a disservice. Condolences can wait. You are correct. We cannot afford distractions at this juncture. Gather the faithful. We have much to do. starting to think this Heffernan is actually behind all of this manipulating. The word on the road is that Kalar's followers have taken Boriskir Bridge and surrounded Bridgeport. We'll not cross the winding water until they're dealt with. The watches have been set and scouts deployed, Corporal? The last thing we need is a band of trolls catching us unawares. Trolls we can handle. It's the Crusade that worries me. We should make contact with those in Bridgeport. There are any left. I'll scout to the north. Perhaps I can find a way to reach the fort's defenders. Be prudent in your ranging. One of our scouts stumbled onto a troll cave to the northwest. She barely made it back alive. You might do well to grab some fire arrows from Belagar before you move too far from the camp. Trolls, eh? Well, that's one thing that I do definitely remember. I'm your commanding officer, Fist Goldbuckler. Get out of that tent! The forest is so serene. I always catch myself watching for bandits, though. A messenger? Frederick Lionheart? I have a message here for Frederick Lionheart. What sort of message? Solak thanks you for your assistance and bid me deliver this brooch to you as a reward. Oh. The vampire. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk it's journeyed an with such stone? a fine companion. This is a small stone that floats in an orbit around the owner's head. Simply equip the stone to set it in its orbit. These obviously magical stones have different properties depending on their color. And this one is green. Well, you know what? We have this uh, thing, so... Plus three versus trolls, and regenerate one hit point per round. This Eon stone gleams dark green like a hardened globe of troll blood. 
Legend tells of its creation from the blood of seven different trolls, each one captured and then subjected to magical experiments for seven nights. The resulting Yawn Stone both grants its user a weaker form of a troll's healing ability and increases their martial prowess against trolls. Ah, and it replaces the helms. Hmm. Is there anyone not wearing a helm right now? You're wearing a regular helmet. You're wearing the helmet of Dumathoin. You're wearing those, and you're not wearing anything. But truth be told, you would be a good choice because you're wielding this fire sword. And fire is... Oh! We get a bonus to hit against regenerating creatures as well, and trolls regenerate. Ah... This sword is actually very useful. It's going to be very good against these trolls. And I know that here in the bag of holding, we have sort of troll decapitation. On a critical hit against a troll, the wearer gains plus one to strength for one turn. And it's better against trolls. Okay. I believe it's a great sword. Yes, two-handed sword, which would go well with you. I think that would be very useful. It would be very useful against trolls. Currently, you've got the infravision, but... I think you'll want to use that. Once we find the trolls, we'll be swapping that out, and you will be a godsend against them. That said, you also appear to have leveled up, Clint. Glint? Sorry. Let's see. Level up. Additional priest spells, saves, additional weapon proficiencies, backstab multiplier. Yeah, you've got some good stuff. Oh, we should send you behind for the backstabs. Didn't think of that. Um, I guess mace. And as for here, and there we go. That'll work. Okay, good. You've leveled up again. Who's next to level up? I wonder. Probably Safana. Well. Stefana and Dinier are actually close, and so am I! Oh my god, I'm finally going to level up! God, it's been so fucking long. Okay. If you insist. Well, let's open this. Ah, arrows, bolts, bullets. What do you want now, Benz? It's Corporal Duncan Fist. Why aren't you doing drills with the rest of your squad? I've got better things to do. To do. You joined the Flaming Fist willingly, Ski. You, cho you chose subservience. Drills are a consequence of that choice. What would you have me do? March back and forth in the muck with the other Adelpates? If that is your commanding officer's order, then yes. You need to do this, Ski. If you don't, Entar will never see you as anything but a child. Bringing Daddy into this? That is low. <sighs> Show me where the Adelpates are again, Ben. I guess I've got some mud to march around in. You have my thanks, Frederick Lionheart. Come on, Gold Buckler. Let's get you back to the drills. <sighs> What would you have me do? Lieutenant Otilda. Very well. Order is what matters. Frederick Lionheart, what did you see out there? You seem nervous, Lieutenant. Is everything all right? Sorry to bother you, sir. Might I have a word? What is it? So it's half-orcs that showed up last night saying they wanted to bash Crusaders. The Irregulars, we've been calling them. No one seemed to think their joining us was a bad idea, but I don't trust them. They say they would fight the Crusade. Why wouldn't you trust them? 
Well, they're half-orcs. Vicious, uncivilized beasts. The real problem is we know nothing about them. They could be spies, criminals, anything. If you picked a fight with them, they'd surely be sent on their way. No one would believe they didn't start it. Hmm. These irregulars have done nothing wrong. I'll not pick a fight with any who, would, who might help us against Kalar, regardless of their race. That's the way you see it. But it's on your head if they betray us. I'm to pick a fight with half orc mercenaries in the area. Except I said I wouldn't. Alright. Here we have the camp, and that appears to be the edge of the camp. Okay then. Third, Belagar, Mizena. Alright. Well, we have a road here. I suppose something we can do is take a look up the road and see what sort of things we see up the road. We know there's going to be trolls to the northwest. We know at least that much. And trolls will be a little bit of a tr problem. Let me say before we continue, because it's been a little bit. All right, let's take a look up the road here and see what we see. Moose! Oh, that ain't, uh... Hmm. Said trolls to the northwest, so obviously that's... This is the life, isn't it? Breathing fresh air, meeting new people, some of whom aren't trying to kill us. Just adventuring. I love it. Love it! I admire your enthusiasm. My enthusiasm is pretty impressive, but don't let it blind you to my other endearing qualities. Humility, for instance. I try. You might want to try a little. Well, you don't need to try on my behalf. Oh, I'm not. I am what I am. I couldn't hide that even if I wanted to, which I don't. Hmm. Good. We shall be great friends, you and I, I can tell. Glint Gardner Sunson, friends with the hero of Baldur's Gate. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought indeed. Hello, hobgoblins. <laughs> Ow! That's unpleasant. That's actually a lot of goblins. Uh, hobgoblins. Fortunately, we have much strength. There we go. And I just remembered, we have a whole bunch of arrows that need to go to people. And bullets too. You get the bullets. You're, you know, the bolts we don't need to hold on to, but you're gonna get all those arrows. Because they can go into something. These go in here, these go in here. in there. Actually, those are plus one. Could you use plus one? Nah, you're fine. Actually, now that I think about it, switch to the ice arrows. We'll save the fire arrows for if we f for when we find any trolls. Well, have you thought about what you said to me? Ah, uh, yes. I spoke with her again, and I think she got upset about what I what was said. You might have crossed my mind once or twice. And... Ah... <laughs> uh... uh... You're a valuable companion, and your skills are unmatched. You can open a lock with a sidelong glance and hide in the shadow of a halfling. I don't know what I'd do without you. That's... not bad. I mean, I've heard better, but I guess you haven't had a lot of practice. I do just fine with the ladies, thank you very much. I'll tell you what. Next time we talk, I want a present. A gemstone. A piece of jewelry. Something that shows me how special I am. Something valuable. 
You can do that, can't you? <sighs> We're looking at a war on the horizon, and you want some glittery gift? You're starting to get the picture, sweetheart. Now go on. Find me something sparkly to match my eyes. I miss Imowen. I've been thinking about what will happen when we reach Dragonspear. I've never served in a coalition before. Alliances bring strength, so long as everyone can get along. Hmm. Three armies working together. Won't be easy on the soldiers. Or anyone. This life isn't easy for anyone, I know. It was easier, once, when all I had to worry about was myself. A child changes things. I have responsibilities. To Roma, to my father, to the Fist, of course. I've let other people into my life since Roma was born. They... I don't want to talk about them. My father says you only need one to win the game, but I'm tired of playing games. Hmm. No, I'm not attracted to her. Life is a game. For you, perhaps. Some of us can't afford to take everything so lightly. Too much depends on us. Ah, well, I'm rambling now. Let's keep moving. Indeed. Seems like we're approaching the far end here. Bridge for refugees. Jahera. Jahera! Prepare to meet your end, puppet of Kalar. Hold, Voglin. They do not wear crusade colors. Oh, yeah, you are right. Who are you, stranger? Jahera, is that you? Frederick Lionheart? You're supposed to be in Baldur's Gate. What are you doing here? Marching to Dragonspear to fight against Kalar and her crusade. And you? When you put an end to the Iron Crisis, Khaled and I decided to travel to Bridgefort, thinking it would make for a pleasant respite from Baldur's Gate. And it was, until the crusade took Borisir Bridge. I was trapped outside Bridgefort, Khaled within. Hmm. So you and these others stand against the crusade. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. They are many, we are few. Hmm. A thousand ill-trained crusaders are no match for us, and the troops accompanying me. They are camped southwest of here. Join them and await my return. Before you range too far, you should know. The crusade holds Borisgear Bridge, and you'll not be allowed into Bridgefort, at least not through the front. But there may be another way. There is a magic circle near the fort that can transport people inside. No one seems to know who created it originally or why. Had we the Wardstone, we could enter Bridgefort. Just after the crusade arrived, though, the Wardstone disappeared. One of our number had it during the retreat into the fort, but he was killed and the Wardstone taken. I saw a woman nearby in a purple robe leaving the scene, perhaps a priest of Cyric. There is a ruined temple of Baal not far from here. If the priest that took the Wardstone remains in, this er in the area, she will surely be there, defiling a sight holy to her master's greatest victim. Now I bid thee farewell. I will seek out this flaming fist encampment. This camp you speak of, does it welcome all who would battle the crusade? Or can wine be found within it? Forgive me, Frederick Ironheart. This is my uh, companion, Voglin of Luskin. A bit too lusty, but a worthy fighter. We would have been taken by the crusade were it not for him. Accompany Jehera to the camp, Voglin. You will b find both welcome and wine there. To the camp, then. To make merry until the time comes to raise our weapons again. Hey! More companions! Looks like we're almost at the top here, and this is the way onwards. So we now have our direction, which happens to be, uh... Finding a stone in a Temple of Baal that will lead us to Bridgefort. A Temple of Baal. Yes. I go to visit a Temple of Baal overtaken by the faithful of he who murdered my father, leaving the way clear for me to take his place. There I shall find out more regarding my dark heritage and the prophecy. If I have time, I shall also look into a hidden room rumored to have been constructed by the Mask. The Lord of Shadows is cunning. The marks he has left behind, number 314. Alright then, so I have multiple reasons to go there. 
Looks like I'm going to learn more ball-related things. Very interesting. That said, I believe our next goal will be to explore westwards, trolls! Before we attack, you! I don't think we'll need Spider's Bane here, so use that sword and put on the Iron Stone. You and I will be very effective against these trolls. Also, uh, you switch to fire arrows. You also switch to fire arrows. You're fine, I guess. And you're also kind of fine. I don't think trolls can be too big. Synonyms for death. Come on, there we go. Okay, I took more damage than I would have liked, but we did succeed. Oh yeah, you leveled up, which means I can give you some more spells. I forgot about that. Nothing, nothing. Ah, good, another cure medium wounds. I definitely believe that would be a good choice. And another cure... Where is it? Cure serious wounds. Can we do anything at level 5? No, not yet. But I'm content with that. Okay. Let me save before we move a little further. Alright. Time to deal with some trolls. No, they're around here. We've are and we're armed with much fire. Fire and acid for trolls. I know how they deal. They regenerate regularly. And the only thing that really puts them down for good is fire and acid. They're weak to that. These narrow paths are not too keen on them. Come back around to here, there's another path. I don't like how we're getting crammed into these narrow spaces. I am glad we have these anti-troll gear. Ooh, refugees. Ask him. I don't want to be a bother, especially I don't want to bother someone that looks like him. You want to bother me then, do ye? Ask him. Your pardon, sir? Well met, friend. How can I be of service? We've been on the road days, my lord. I don't know how many... Slarnin Kalar and her Slarnin Crusaders burnt our house. Hells the whole Slarnin village to the ground. We've been working our way toward Baldur's Gate. I was wondering if you could tell me how much farther we've got to go? You've a ways yet, I'm afraid. Here's ten pieces of gold. It'll get you a decent meal and a night's shelter out of the encampment down the path. Ye have our thanks, sir. Would that we had more to offer ye. I mean, why not? They clearly need the help. And it's only ten gold. Ten gold is really not that much. Okay. Looks like that's all there is in this forest. Now... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a path leading to what is... More trolls! Corwin, get back, get back, get back, get back! Okay, I didn't want Corwin to be charging at the front lines there. Hello, troll. Small trolls! seem to hit me a lot, which I don't care for very much. Alright. 
unfortunate that they don't seem to drop anything, Guesses? and also unfortunate that they're able to hit me surprisingly often. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry up! Which I don't really care for very much. What would you have me do? That's a lot of dead creatures. Yep, we found a troll cave. We'll investigate that. Probably in the next Tell episode. me, Captain Corwin. What is thine opinion of our friend, the hero of Baldur's Gate? Hadn't given it much thought. Having a famous hero around is handy, but it also seems to attract trouble. Or create it. Such people always invite hassles. You don't get called hero without someone trying to pull you down. <laughs> Yet thou wouldst support our group and keep our companions standing in the face of those who wish us ill. That's my assignment, so yeah. Why do you ask? I just wanted to know where thou stood should worse come to worst, and now I do. Hmm. Interesting questions there, Dinair. Oh shit, spiders! Uh, Hi. you. Um, spider bane only works on hold and web, so it's no big deal. You know what? We can no kill way. them. They're just giant spiders. They're weak. There we go. Okay. Oh Savannah. You want me? Just disarm that, please. Right. Thank you. Hurry up! All right, all right. I don't think there's really anything else of note down here. In fact, that was just actually just another path to get to the cave of trolls. All right. Well, we'll stand outside the troll cave, and I think we'll investigate it in the next episode because this one has gone on about long enough. Next epi next episode, trolls in the dungeon. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is Frederick Lionheart, Minsk, Glint, Corwin, Safana, and Dinair. This has been a let's play of Baldur's Gate, Siege of Dragonspear. And I shall see you all next time.